hello everyone today we are going to explain how to configure bgp in router os version 7 install router right so how to configure it router os version 7 install router in router os 7 version install router there is some changes so we will do configure in our two router fresh two router from start to end so that now we have a diagram we have a two router right we have a two router here and uh, we will communicate with uh, different network using bgp okay so we are planning this router s number is one and this router s number is two so that we are configuring here ebgp okay so let's log in the router we have a two router we are logging the router okay so both router identity is the same micro tick right so we're gonna change the identity we already write some steps short of first of all we should change the identity right okay then how to change identity system to identity then we can give the name r1 okay very good now we are trying to log in another router yes this router identity system to identity will be r2 very good we have two router r1 r1 and r2 okay now we need to create a bridge interface for lan assign okay so how to create a bridge interface we should go to the bridge click plus then apply okay same here bridge plus okay so that bridge interface created steps to done then we need to configure ip this is our r1 router and the s is one now we are going to configure ip okay so let's log in the r1 router this is the r1 router then go to ip to address plus 192.168 1.1 slash 24 we're going to use lan interface is bridge apply okay then again plus 172.16.1.1 slash 24 this interface will be ethernet 2 we plugged in our cable in our router ethernet 2 interface apply to ok we can check it by if we click interface then you can see the r2 is connected ok now ip configuration done in our r1 router now let's log into the r2 router ip to address plus then we are giving ip address 192.168.2.1 slash 24 the interface will be breeze okay plus 172.16.1.1 slash 24 interface will be ethernet 2 apply to okay now we can check our ip configuration in our r1 router we assign this for lan this for point to point uh, R2 router the point to point IP is 192.168.1.2 right apply to ok very good now our IP configuration is done let's see the next steps those steps are done now set router ID right so go to the routing to BGP go to the template 
click plus then our s number is one and we can give the identity router id like we can give the router uh, id here short of one seven to one six one dot one apply so okay we are using our point to one ip very good now go to the connection click plus and now use the template here temp on and the remote address remote address one seven two dot one six dot one dot two and a remote s remote s we are planning to give the s here two then the bgp bgp is ebgp because here we are using different s then apply to okay very good now let's start configuring in r2 router you should go to the routing routing to bgp and there is a template click plus then the as will be here two and router id 172.16.1.2 apply ok then click on the connection then click plus and use template our created template template 1 and the remote address remote address 172.16.1.1 and the remote is 1 and the local rule EBGP apply ok very good now you can check the session yes the uptime is already 30 second right you can see the session here also uptime is 38 second but if you go to the routing right ip to route there is no bgb route right but the pr is established right now how to configure it uh, our lan block is our lan block is 192.168.1.1 for r1 router and the r2 router lan block is 192.168.2.1 okay uh, let's log in the r1 router In the version 7, you need to create address list first. So, how to create address list? IP to firewall, then go to the address list. In the address list, you can click plus, then like you can write LAN. The address, your LAN address 192.168.1.0 slash 24. Then apply to OK. Now you can go to the R2 router. Similarly, you can write uh, go to the IP to firewall, then go to address list, click plus. You can write a LAN, and the R2 router LAN block is 192.168.2.0 slash 24. Then apply to OK. Very good. Now the question is where I am going to use LAN block, right? So sure. let's see. You should go to the again routing to BGP. Then expand it. And there is an option is filter. And now you can select the address list in the output network. LAN select here, apply, OK. Same in the R2 router go to routing bgp connection double click here then go to the filter there is the output network just click here then you can select lan apply ok now let's see is there anything change in the routing table or can we able to ping each other 
ip to route now you can see there is a bgb route dav dynamic active bgb if we go to the this router ip to routes now you can see there is a dav dynamic active bgp and also this router lan block right lan block is 2.1 let's try to ping from here ping 192.168.2.1 we can able to reach from our own router. Similarly, if we go to this router, ping 192.168.1.1, R2 router also able to reachable R1. So our VGP configuration is successfully done. Thank you for watching.